CATF's work is different from other environmental organizations in that we bring a real understanding of science and technology innovation to bear. We are not comfortable with solutions that are simply helpful from a policy perspective. We want them to be implementable and we want them to merely make a difference. Because we're trying to change a global energy system in a very short period of time, we have a $25 trillion global energy system that we're trying to change in 30 years. We can't wait to see what happens if we do a little experiment here and do a little experiment there. We need substantial investment in technology innovation. At the same time, we need clear requirements for industry so that they can plan their investments in the future. Both of those things work together very synergistically and that's why we're, we'll be able to accelerate change rapidly. If we don't have both of those tools working at the same time, we're not going to make the changes we need in the time we need to make them. Business requires some direction. They are responsible to their shareholders, but they're also responsible to the social benefit of our country in, in making investments that will promote clean air and climate change controls. I also think that the business community really understands and appreciates CATF's focus on innovation and not stasis. I think that it's important for us to be looking forward and thinking about what can make a difference. We are currently engaged with a number of companies that are working uh, to advance technology that could significantly reduce costs. But those companies need public policy support. They need incentives. They need support with state government recognizing perhaps the advantages of the technologies they're producing. And we're working with them to develop a suite of policies that can help these fuels and these technologies going forward. There's urgency in the sense that every ton of carbon dioxide lasts for a very long time in the atmosphere. So it's important for us to be ready to get the deepest reductions we can and without bringing to bear some new technologies, new and innovative ways of producing energy, for example, and new ideas about controlling emissions, that won't happen in time. And it's important for my children, for my children's children, that they have a planet they can live on.